What's up guys, it's Manners, and we're going to be talking about something pretty interesting here regarding Modern Warfare Trilogy, a thing that they're doing where they combine all of the Modern Warfare games for the last gen console. So obviously, COD 4, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3, they're going to bring them together within one game, and apparently they're only releasing them for last gen consoles. Now, this is where it gets really interesting, because where is it for next gen consoles? And I do understand that COD 4, and maybe it looks like that they're going to take those games from the Modern Warfare Trilogy, and then like, individually remaster them throughout the next couple of years for us, you know, obviously Infinite Warfare, we have COD 4, um, you know, Advanced Warfare 2, or whatever such hammers thing is, we have MW2, and then with maybe Trek, you have MW3, or maybe their own Trek game, I'm not so sure, but it looks like that's the case, because obviously, a lot of people would much rather have, or want to get a Modern Warfare trilogy, rather than just one of the Modern Warfare games, which is COD 4, even though it was regarded as one of the best ones, but still, it's only really one. And it, it leaves me to think here, it looks like that's going to be sort of the replacement for this year's sort of lack of Call of Duty release, because I'm pretty sure that Infinite Warfare and the COD 4 Remaster will not come to last-gen consoles at all. I'm not so sure if there is any other sort of last-gen provider for this year's Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, um, and, and maybe I'll look back into that, but I'm pretty sure I saw some video like, last-gen not coming or something. I don't know if that was confirmed or not, but you know, that's basically what it was. So it looks like the COD 4 and then Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 trilogy here will be last-gen's version of Call of Duty this year, and quite frankly, I would like that for, you know, next gen console so we can play that, like, MW1, 2, and 3 in the same game. That's actually such such an insane thing, like, who wouldn't want that? But it looks like, as I said, for next gen, they're going to be doing it year by year instead of just releasing it all at once. So, uh, we're probably going to get those eventually, but like I said, I guess the last gen is just getting them all now because they want to replace this year's Call of Duty, at least with something that people would be interested in buying to some extent, um, rather than just not playing Call of Duty at all. So... Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this? Do you want it for next gen? I think everyone's going to comment, yes I do. Um, I just want to see how many people actually want it. And leave a comment below regarding last gen. I know a lot of people, I've seen people in, in my streams and stuff, you know, you guys were talking about having last gen and dealing with it. Are you excited for this? Are you going to play this? I, I honestly would. I would be pretty hyped, honestly. The only thing is, the last thing here... Are they going to improve the graphics for last gen, the Modern Warfare Remaster and stuff like that? Is it going to be the same exact graphics as before? I think it is. I don't think they have room to improve anything, but the games are a bit older. Like, can they upgrade to, like, Black Ops 2 graphics or, like, you know, something like that? Even though yeah, Modern Warfare 2 graphics were honestly fine, so maybe they'll keep it the same. I think they probably will now, thinking about it. But do you think they should increase it with whatever memory they have left on the 360 and the PS3, or is it going to stay the same? I think the same, but you never know. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments section below, and again, let me know if you want it for next-gen consoles. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.